Well, it was in the early 1990s that I first started thinking about this, and um, a couple of colleagues and I went to a conference, and we went to a session on environmental taxation. And we started thinking about how we could create an area of research that fit in with accounting and also save the world at the same time, which was kind of important to me. So the first thing I did was actually apply for a one-quarter sabbatical in 1994 in the spring. And I really wanted to think through this environmental tax thing and how does it fit and what does it all mean. And so I wrote um, a paper out of that sabbatical and felt like I really needed more time. And so I had heard about the Center for Social and Environmental Accounting Research in Scotland, and I was thinking about applying for another sabbatical. And some of my colleagues talk about how you've got to plan your sabbaticals years in advance. Well, that's not how I work. So I sent an email to them, and I said, you know, I'm interested in visiting, and do you do that? And they said, well, sure, we do that all the time, so you're welcome to come. And so I applied for two quarters of sabbatical this time and uh, was, was awarded the sabbatical time. And in preparation for going, I thought, you know, I should be more prepared for this because these are the world leaders right now in environmental accounting. And I really don't know anything. I know a little bit about environmental tax, but I really don't know anything. So I put together a, a summer grant for developing a class called environmental accounting. And I went into my department chair at the time and, and said, this is what I want to do. And he says, this is great. Looks like you're catching a wave. And uh, I'm highly supportive of this. So I got the grant, developed the class, taught it first for the first time in fall of 1996. And then in February of 97, I went to Scotland. And they didn't really know what to expect, and I didn't know what to expect, but it turned out to be a really, really wonderful experience because they are very passionate about what they do, and they are excellent educators. And education is extremely important to them. And so I learned a lot about education while I was there, as well as about environmental issues. And it really changed the way I think about my class and teaching all the way across the board. In corporate America, sustainability is becoming more of a buzzword. And for that reason, from the time I started teaching this course, when you know a lot of companies were still like this, um, a lot more companies are embracing sustainability. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that they pay lip service to it? And a lot of corporations do. Green marketing, very common. Um, but there are corporations that are really doing some interesting things. And probably the most exciting change over the 11 years that I've taught this course is the, the um, standalone reporting on environmental and sustainability issues. They used to be called environmental reports or environment, health, and safety. Now they're often called sustainability reports. And while there's no um, required standards for these reports, which makes them a little suspect in terms of you know what's in it and how true is it and all that, um, it's also exciting just to see that this is happening, that more and more information is out there for people to look at on, on what organizations are doing.